Dan, go ahead. All right, well, describe how you feel about uh, being a Bearcat so far and how you think things are going. I feel great being a Bearcat, sir. Um, everybody's on this team has welcomed me with open arms. Coach Fick has welcomed me with open, open arms. And then everybody's made me feel like I, I've been a part of this family since day one. So it, it feels great to be home, and it feels great to be around people who are working hard, encouraging me to work hard. So it, it feels great. Were there any, like, I told you so's when you got here? Like, should have should have come here the first time, or they, they let that go? Uh, it was a couple, but, like, shoot. <laughs> Mostly Evan. <laughs> Mostly Evan, but, like, shoot. It, it was all friendly, and everybody, like I said, they welcomed me, welcomed me with open arms. I, I'm very happy with my decision, so. And it was, I know the first time around it was a tough decision for you, wasn't it? Uh, yes, sir. It, it was a tough decision, but, you know, I'm, I made the right choice, so. I know your uh, hamstring, I guess, was a little tender early on in camp, but it looks like you're 100%. How do you feel, and what's your comfort level? I, I feel I feel great. I feel fine. Um, I'm getting better each day. Um, I'm learning from the, from the older guys above me, so um, and, and even the guys in my class and the guys under me. So I'm just taking my time and going and doing what the coach tells me to do. So. You had a couple good runs today. How's it feel to kind of, you know, get that motor running and, and start to make plays? Uh, it feels great, sir. Um, especially with that O line in front of me and then those receivers blocking out there against our great defense. Uh, it feels it feels great. How hard is it to come in after spring and try and learn a whole new playbook, whole new system, you know, over the course of a single kind of shortened off season, I guess. Uh, it's it's pretty tough, but like I said, I got a I got a great running back coach. And then I got great upperclassmen in the running back room, and I got great guys under me too. So we're, we're all helping each other, and they're being uh, great teammates by helping me and everything like that. So. There's a battle for that number one spot in that backfield. How is that shaking out? Uh, we we all have been taking reps. Uh, we've all been competing and encouraging each other. So it's a it's a battle, but it's a friendly battle. So the best the best man is gonna win, but we're all gonna be happy for each other, and we're gonna continue to encourage each other throughout the whole season. So. How happy is your family and your friends to see you back here in Cincinnati? My family is very happy. Um, like every day, I get a, I get a different family member or something like that calling, telling me they're happy I'm home. They can come, they can come down the road, tailgate and stuff like that. So it's just, it's ha it makes me happy that my whole family is going to be, be there. So. I have to imagine you were familiar, maybe close with some of the guys on this team playing against them in high school and things yeah. like that. Anybody yes, specific? Um, Ivan Pace, mm -hmm. Deshaun Pace. Uh, Eric Phillips, like we all grew up playing football against each other and with each other, so it's, it's I'm, I'm familiar with everybody. So, and then high, and even in high school, like play played against a couple of these guys, and then you know Evan won Mr. Football year before me, right. so it's just I, I like to think of it like um, Lamar Jackson and when Mark when he played with Mark Ingram for that season. Like, yeah, yeah. So I always talk to him about that. <laughs> You've been using sir with all of us. Were you raised as a Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Kind of kid. Oh yeah, yes, sir. My father was in the military, <laughs> so I grew up with that. Showing up early is on time, so I grew up like that. Fickle likes that, right? Early on is on time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it is with meetings. So if you don't don't show up five minutes before the meeting, you show up as early as you can to the meeting because the meeting might start with 15 minutes when everybody's in their seats. The meeting is going to start. So your thoughts on higher ground? It's a very unique space out here. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, it is a very unique space. Um, like, I don't think any other team in the country is doing what we're doing. We come out here and we're away from our families and stuff like that. You don't go home and sleep in your own bed every night. You go and sleep in the room with your teammates and stuff like that. And it just brings us closer because we're all working hard. It's the sec it's the almost the third week. Like, we're all dog tired and stuff like that. But we're all leaning on each other to rise and conquer, conquer the challenge that's ahead. Who's your roommate? Uh, I got Sean Thomas. I got Lou. And I got um, Miles Montgomery and me. So, so they, they're all, they're you all got pretty the quad cool. Going. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> all, all the running backs. So we, we're, we're all pretty cool. Like like I said, they're they're all very smart, and they're all helping me. And you and Miles are kind of in similar. You know, you came in in the same class, obviously, and this will be his second year. Do you feel the two of you kind of a kinship, trying to uh, figure out yes, your sir. spot on this team? Like like I said, it's a it's a healthy competition. So that man is bringing his A game every single day, and that's true. That's encouraging me to bring my A game every single day. And we're just, as soon as he elevates, I'm elevating. I elevate, he elevates. So it's just pushing each other to the, to the limit, so. Every program talks about culture. What has it been like for you witnessing this and becoming a part of it? Like, what is your take on the culture inside this program? So from the outside looking in, 
um, you see you see his family and every coach will preach his family and stuff like that. But then coming in, I truly see the, the family culture that's in here and then we preach tough and nasty. So everybody's tough and everybody's nasty. We're all gonna be hungry. Defense is hungry for the ball, offense is hungry to score, just hungry to fight, but be brothers. We've seen you bust out the spin move a couple of times. Is that is that your go-to? Um, shoot, I'm whatever move is available is the move I'm gonna use. Okay. We saw it on the prank video too when you're getting away from whatever the the, the bush thing. <laughs> yeah, so. that, that was a reflex. <laughs> <laughs> was a reflex. We out we out um, in the woods, so some I, I don't take chances. Head on the swivel always. <laughs> yes, sir. Along those lines, in the night practice last week, there's like a fourth and two. They gave you the ball, you like lowered your shoulder, plowed somebody over, your teammates went nuts. Is that kind of your mindset? You will do whatever is yes, required? Yes, sir. Um, whatever the coach asks me to do, I'm going to do it to the best of my abilities. And I think that's the, that's the mindset of everybody on this team. We all want to do what the coaches tell us to do because the coaches aren't going to put us in a situation that's not going to help the team. So we all want to just give it, all our, give it our all. In pads out there, look a little bit like Mike Warren. Running styles are a little different, but did you watch Mike when he was here and, and try to you know, gain inspiration from him? Yes, sir. Uh, I, I call Mike uh, like sort of a kind of a big brother to me because uh, during my recruiting process, I talked to him a lot and I got to know him very well. And uh, it's just, I, I see similarities, but like, I like to try to be my own running sure. back. I, I take, I take um, different qualities from every running back. I watch a lot of running backs film and stuff like that, but like, I just, I try to be myself and I don't, I don't try to compare myself to other people because, you know, I'm 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 Corey and they're they're Mike's Mike. So you're faster you like? than Mike for sure. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would you said you said you said film. Who do you watch? Who's the um, guys that you watch? I watch J.K. I watch everybody. <laughs> Let me get that clear. I watch everybody. But shoot, recently, like the last few days, I've been watching J.K. Dobbins and. Uh, strength and conditioning coaches keep calling me Maurice Jones Drew, so I've been trying to watch a lot more of his games. So. That's a good one. Yeah. Something to the number two? Um, you know, my, my number is, my favorite number is 21, but um, it wasn't available, so I just took two. I mean, shoot, we got a great, we got a great receiver wearing 21, so I couldn't complain. <laughs> yeah. Anything else, guys? Thanks, Corey. Thanks, Corey. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.